Let's look at love. No, not sex, but love. To understand what it is, let's make sure we're clear on what it is not. Infatuation? This is not love. Oh, it feels like love, but it isn't. It's this intense, exciting, fireworks kind of feeling, sometimes thought of as a crush. It's like a hundred yard dash. This emotional burst of speed and sudden attraction to someone of the opposite sex is usually based on physical features. You are consumed with this person. You only see the good things about them. That's because you usually know little to nothing about them. And that makes it superficial. Infatuation is like a helium balloon. It rises fast, but cannot be sustained. Now let's look at desire. More appropriately, sexual desire is not love. Oh, this too feels like love, but not so much. It's this strong physical excitement that a person has for someone. It's a strong craving, lust, or longing for sex to be connected to them. You believe this person may be your soulmate, the answer to your loneliness, your hero. Sadly, many people have sex based on these feelings, but it too is not sustainable. Love? Wow. That's tough because, well, it's not about you. It's all about them. Love is a decision to care deeply for someone with genuine concern, wanting what is best for them without the expectation of anything in return. It's considerate and kind and doesn't demand or misuse the other person. So how do you know if you're in love or if the relationship you're in is true love? Time. It takes time to really get to know someone, to discern between infatuation and love, to embrace them for who they are, their good points and bad points. But in this day and age, when we are accustomed to immediate gratification, taking it slow is not usually what people want to hear. Love can embody passion, but even when passion fluctuates, true love will stand the test of time, faults, struggles, and challenges because love survives.